Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install XAMPP server on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can install it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for install XAMPP. And the first link which will appear here will be from apachefriends.org forward slash downloads. If uh, you open the apachefriends.org, let's go to the, the website which is Apache friends.org you will see this downloads tab on the top of this website so i'm going to click on this downloads tab and here you will find variety of uh, samp installation files so first is for windows and then the second section is for linux and so third section is for os x so we want to uh, download the binaries for the linux operating system so we will just go to this section which says sam for linux and we are going to install the latest version which seems to be 7.2.3 at the time of making this video so i'm going to just click on this option which says download 64 bit and this is going to uh, download this file which is called sam linux x 64 installation dot run file so i'm going to save this file on my ubuntu operating system it's around 131 megabyte file so it will take some time to download so just wait for the download to complete so now the download of this uh, dot run file is completed so we will just minimize our browser and we are going to open the terminal so you can open the terminal by clicking this button and then search for uh, terminal so let's open the terminal and once the terminal is open we are going to first of all cd to the downloads folder so i'm going to just uh, cd to downloads folder and then here we will find our uh, zamp.run file which is this one right so first of all we need to change the permission of this file so when for example you uh, see the permissions of this file so I'm going to do ls minus al and press enter so the permission of this file is read write read write and read so there are no executable permission for this run file so we are going to provide the executable permission to this file and then we will run this file so to change the permission of the file you just need to run sudo and then ch mod and then plus x to provide the executable permission and then the name of the file which is zamp minus linux minus x64 and whatever is the name of your file okay so sudo ch mod plus x and the name of the file which is going to just ask for your password so i'm going to just provide my password here and then the permissions for this file will be changed let's verify that by doing ls minus al for this file and then press enter and now you can see x is added to the file permissions right so now we can execute our xamp file so let me clear the terminal and then we are going to just say sudo once again and then dot forward slash and then the name of your file which is zamp minus linux whatever dot run and then press enter and this is going to start the installer for the zamp server so you can see this installer has been started so this is the first window of the setup we are going to just click next and this is the second step where it says xamp will be installed on opt forward slash lamp directory so this is the default directory where xamp will be installed so we are going to click next and then you will see this window here we don't want to do anything we just need to click next and now it says ready to install so we are going to just click next once again which will start the installation of this xamp server so i'm going to wait for the installation to complete so now the installation of XAMPP is completed and you will see this uh, window which says completing the XAMPP setup wizard launch XAMPP. So this check box will be checked. So leave it as checked because we want to launch the XAMPP application and then click finish. 
which is going to launch the XAMPP application which will look like this. So here what we want to do is we want to go to manage servers here and you will see that Apache web server is already running but our MySQL database and prof ftpd is stopped. So we will start one by one everything so start the MySQL database and then once it started we will start the prof ftpd so now you can see everything is started and everything is running if you want to stop everything you can press this button which will stop everything and if you want to restart everything you can just press this button which says restart all now to check if everything is working fine or not we are going to open a new tab here and then we are going to just write local host and then forward slash dashboard so just write localhost dashboard or better if you write http colon forward slash forward slash and then and then localhost dashboard okay and then press enter which is going to give you this welcome page for the apache so if you see this kind of xamp apache welcome page that means XAMPP server is running fine on your Ubuntu operating system. Now let's check if PHP my admin is working or not. So for that, you just need to write HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost and then PHP my admin. So just write PHP my admin and then press enter, which is going to open the PHP my admin welcome page. So if you see this kind of PHP my admin welcome page, that means PHP my admin is also working fine on your Ubuntu operating system. Now, once you checked that everything is working, PHP my admin and the XAMPP server, you're going to just minimize the browser. So let's say I'm going to just stop everything, which is going to stop everything. And then I'm going to close it. So I will just say, yes, I want to close it. And once I closed this XAMPP control panel, how can I open it? So you can open it by going to your LAMP directory, which is in your opt directory. So what we can do here is we can go to opt, which is the location where uh, your LAMP is installed. So opt and then LAMP and then just uh, press enter. So we are inside the LAMP directory inside opt and then do LS here and you will see uh, lots of files here. So what we are interested in is this file, which is manager minus Linux minus x64 dot run file, which is going to start our panel, which is the control panel we have opened. So I'm going to just write sudo and then dot forward slash and then the name of this file, which is manager minus Linux minus x64 dot run file and then press enter which is going to start this control panel. So now you know from where you can start this control panel and you can see uh, right now the Apache web server is uh, stopped and MySQL database is stopped. So you can just uh, press start all, which is going to start uh, everything, which is MySQL database, Apache and this prof FTPD. So now you know how to open your XAMPP control panel and where it is located. So now I'm going to close this because everything is running or let's minimize this and we are going to just close it by pressing the control C button which is going to close this control panel. And now what we are going to do is we are going to create some very basic hello world PHP code and we will check with our Apache server. So now what we want to do is we will just write CD so we are in our home directory and then we will just type uh, cd once again uh, opt directory and inside opt we will just go to lamp directory and inside lamp directory you may have observed there is a directory called htdocs directory so we are going to go inside that directory so opt lamp htdocs and then press enter so we are inside the htdocs and let's do ls here first of all so there are some files here already so what we are going to do is we are going to create a new file so i'm going to just write uh, g edit here and then i will say my php dot php file 
okay so gedit is the editor name and myphp.php is the file name so just do that and don't forget to add the sudo in front of this command and then press enter which is going to open the editor and here we will just uh, write the very basic hello world program for your php and then i'm going to save this file and then i'm going to close this file okay so once you have closed this file you need to change the permission of this file and how you can do it you have already seen it which is the command so let me clear the terminal first of all and let's do ls first of all so you can see that my php.php file is there so let's see the permission of this by using ls minus al and then my php.php so the permission is only read permission right now so we will change it using sudo ch mod and then plus x and then the name of the file which is my php.php which is going to change the permission of this file you can see once again x is added to the permissions and now once this is done we can just open our browser once again and then we will check using localhost forward slash your php file name so our php file name was myphp.php and then i'm going to just uh, press enter which is going to just print hello world and this hello world is coming from this file which is myphp.php okay so you can even change it i'm going to just use nano this time myphp.php oh i forgot the sudo command so i need to just give the sudo nano command so everything which is inside opt you need to give sudo command for that so sudo nano myphp.php and let's add some characters after hello world so we know that this is not fake so just control o for saving the file and then control x to come out of this file and once again i'm going to refresh my localhost.myphp.php page and you can see this is added to your hello world so in this way you can download and install xamp server and test your xamp server on your ubuntu operating system i hope you have enjoyed this video please write comment subscribe and bye for now